It's the new Yoder Pizza Oven. What's up, barbecue fans? Welcome back to the patio. My name's Jake, you're watching Rum and Cook. Today on the channel, we're talking about a new product from Yoder, and I gotta tell you, I think it's gonna be a game changer. I literally said that the first time I saw it, and I don't think I'm wrong. Now, I've seen a few videos on this, not too many, it's brand new, but if you can't tell by the size of it, it's big, it's heavy, it's the new Yoder Pizza Oven. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna unpackage this guy. This guy's so big, I don't even have room for my rum and coke, I just realized. Don't worry, we'll get that soon enough. All right, let's see what we got here. As you can see, it's got two handles here to help you move it in and out of the grill. This will be our pizza stone. Rear of the gate, we're gonna look at the manual real quick. I'm not sure how it comes apart. I'm trying to figure out if it's actually pre-attached. Let's see. <laughs> I'm making this way difficult than it has to be. There's a strap below there, so. <laughs> I'm like, the manual doesn't say how to take it apart, <laughs> but if you open up your eyes, and it's actually a metal band, so hold tight, I'm gonna go get some cutters. We'll cut that, <laughs> and we'll get this guy open. Got ourselves some cutters. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Put it down and we'll just cut inside of it. There we go. <laughs> That's the only problem with doing an unboxing in real time. If you can't figure out how to open something, you start to sweat. <laughs> so, just to give you guys an an idea here. So here's what happens here. We've got this plate. We're going to pull out the diffuser plate. We're going to put this in. There's a lip here that lines up with the edge of where your diffuser would. And then there's some slots here. The oven sits on top and these holes help dissipate heat properly to make sure we've got even heat in the bottom. All right. This guy here, we've got some protective material on the stainless steel here. I think that's probably the only spot we've got to worry about, just so you guys can see the back. And essentially what happens here is our heat comes up from the firebox over the top and then gives us some top-down cooking, just like a pizza oven should. Now, if you guys saw my recent video where I used some half chickens and I actually used the top wrap to sear where the firebox open, you saw, I mean, I was searing chicken in a minute, a minute and a half, and I thought, I was far enough away. It was kind of eye-opening how far up that heat goes. So just in that experiment alone, I know right off the bat that this heat's gonna come over here, no problem. So we've got our pizza stone here. Now I do know that this is a proprietary stone and there is a smooth side and a rough side. Smooth side goes down, just so you guys know. And you can actually see it. Uh, I won't come across on camera, but you can definitely see which side is smooth, which is rough. So that's no problem. What we have to do here is we have to read this, but I know we're gonna do a burn in for about 30 minutes. So before we can do that, we've got to clean out the firebox and the bottom of the pit. 
So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll bring it back. So we have the inside clean. Now it's time to put this together. Let me bring you in close and I'll show you how it goes together. So we're gonna take this top off. Now I already have the pizza stone in place. Remember, smooth side down, rough side up. And we put this plate in here. Now it sits in perfectly where the diffuser would. This lip on the left side is gonna catch. Remember when your diffuser tray goes in, there's two little um, keys there that go on. That's what we're catching here. And we're right over our firebox. So super simple, then we've got two keys on this side, two keys on this side, and we're just gonna set it right on top. Like so. And it's really important to make sure that you're properly in those keys and you're sit seated down on top of the bottom tray because if you're not, your heat's not gonna properly flow through the oven, it's gonna be able to escape. So if you give it a twist and you're twisting the whole thing, you're in good shape. So now that we got this situated the way we want, it's time to fire it up. We're gonna start at 350, that is the default temperature on a Yoder. So we just hit start. We're waiting two to five minutes to see some smoke. We're going to close it up and let it preheat. Now, the one thing that I've been thinking about since I saw this a few weeks back here, I see some comments from people that are buying inexpensive pellets, saving money, and I get it. However, typically when you use a cheaper product, you're not going to get the heat from it. So I think that this is one of those situations where you really want to use a good quality pellet to really get maximum heat out of this. If you cut corners, you're going to turn out a product that's not what it could be. So highly recommend you buy some good quality pellets. Today I'm using Bear Mountain's Hickory. Flavor doesn't really matter. We're cooking hot, so you're not going to get a lot of smoke in there. You just want to make sure you use a good quality pellet. So whatever you've got the most of, dump that in there and away you go. So what we're gonna do here, I think I misspoke earlier about seasoning for 30 minutes. I'm not trying to season it. The pizza stone is already seasoned. We don't have to worry about that aspect of it, but you do need to let this preheat. Now today, I'm not making pizza, I'm making calzone. So we're gonna go for around 450. I am gonna let this run at 350 just for a little bit. And then once I know that we're going and we've actually, we've already got smoke pouring. So I'm gonna close this up let it start to come up to temperature. I've got some things to prep. So I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes. I'm gonna turn this up to 450 because that's gonna be my target temperature for a calzone today. As you know, recently I made calzones on here and it was okay, but calzones are one of my favorite things. I haven't seen anyone do a video on it yet, so I wanted to try it out. I think it's gonna turn out great. I'll bring it back when we get ready to put our calzone together. So it's been about 35 minutes. We're up to temp. The Yoder's saying 452. We'll get out our temp gun here and just give you an idea of where we're sitting. The floor is saying 480 and the top is saying 510, 513. So we're hot. Perfect shape for a calzone. I gotta tell you, calzones are one of my favorite things. I mean, I love pizza, but I really, really do enjoy a calzone. I made my sauce off camera. This is what we're using, some San Marzano tomatoes. These are DOP certified, means they're from Italy certified. You can get these at, at bbq.com. It's my go-to place for a lot of seasonings. It's actually where I bought my Yoder. It's where you can get the pizza oven from and anything Yoder, lots of seasonings, marinades, injections, all that kind of fun stuff. So if you haven't been there, I will put a link down below. Now, last time I made a pizza, I used a pre-bought dough from my local pizza place that I, I like. So I wanted to keep it very similar to the last time I made it. So I just went and bought another dough. And for those of you who are not aware, most pizza places, not the chains, the smaller local pizza joints, they'll sell you a dough for like five bucks usually. Cut that in half. Now I do have some homemade pizza dough inside that's waiting for some love, but I wanted to keep this video standardized. 
But as you guys know, if you've been around for a little while, if you haven't been, subscribe down below. I do have a pizza oven. I've got my Komodo Komodo. And let me tell you, I'm super excited about trying a battle. I haven't done a battle in a little while, so we're overdue. And a pizza battle or calzone battle is gonna be happening here soon. But this pizza dough, you just cut it in half. We're gonna roll it out fairly thin. And it's gonna stick a little bit. I forgot some flour. But we're just trying to get it spread out so that we can fold it over top. So there we go. Just to give you an idea about the sauce. Again, I made that off camera, but these are whole tomatoes. Put them in a blender, tablespoon of salt, tablespoon of fresh pepper, maybe some basil if you want. Pulse it twice on high and that's it. You don't really have to cook down your sauce or anything like that. Some people do. To me, it doesn't really matter. And for a calzone, I actually like to put a little bit in the inside, which makes it closer to a stromboli, but you do you, whatever you want. I just like to have a little bit, not too much, and don't get it near the edges or anything like that. And I'm gonna put some of this on top of the Yoder pizza oven to warm up a little bit. And I like a little bit of fresh garlic in there too. And you can just spread that out. Oop, not that much. And I'm just putting a little bit of oregano and basil in here as well. Like you can just use a straight sauce. Do you do you. I like a little bit of extra flavor in there. Now we've got our cheese and this is just low mozzarella, freshly grated, high quality cheese. I always like to tell people, number one, grate it yourself. Number two, buy a good quality mozzarella because it's just greasy if you don't. And I'm just gonna go with one of my personal favorites, which is just some ham and a bunch of onions. I can never have too many onions. And I also like to put some bacon in here, but we didn't cook any today. But you can pretty much put any toppings in here you want. Just pepperoni, just cheese. And actually, the one thing I forget, forgot to mention is traditionally, this would have ricotta. I'm just not a huge fan of ricotta, so I skip it. A little bit more cheese on top. Can never really have too much cheese. And now what we're gonna do is we wanna seal our edges, okay? Super simple, a little bit of water. Just go around the edge. This is gonna be your glue. And make sure none of your toppings are in the way. This will leak if you don't seal it properly and it's not always fun when you lose a bunch of cheese out the side. Not the end of the world, but if you can avoid it, avoid it. And all we're gonna do now is we're just gonna pick this guy up, stretch it out just a little bit. And I'm gonna pick this guy up a little bit, stretch it at the bottom. I'm just gonna pull this over top. And the one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and push out some of the air out of the one side before I seal this. And take your time on this spot because we really want to get a nice tight seal. And kind of what I'm going to do here is we've got a little bit of, put a little bit of extra water here. And I'm just going to roll this up on top of itself. A little bit of extra on these sides that I don't need. Just make sure you really give this a good seal.
And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use some parchment paper. Now the one thing about the pizza stone, if, you, if you're doing something that's greasy or can possibly leak, uh, do yourself a favor and just use some parchment paper on the bottom of it. That'll help prevent a mess, uh, but also in the, in the case of a calzone, it just makes it a little easier to work with. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick this up like a banded, rip, rip it up and away you go. And to help with the browning on the top, we're gonna take a little bit of, this is just uh, avocado oil. You can use whatever oil you want, preferably. I mean, olive oil will work. It's not really a high temp oil, so you kind of want to go a little bit of a higher temp if you can, but lots of people use it. So if you don't have anything else, go ahead. Get out of here, wind. And you could use an egg wash actually as well. Uh, I typically just go right to oil because it's easy. And for a little bit of extra flavor, we're just gonna take some fresh Parmesan after I count for the wind and just get a nice little coating on top of that. And that's really it. This guy's ready to go in. So now we're ready to go. We'll get our pizza peel. And the beautiful thing about parchment paper is it sits right on top there. And I'm just gonna trim a little bit of this away. And we'll throw this in the pizza oven. Just like that, she's in. It's the first cook on the pizza oven. I'm super excited, if you can't tell. Timing, uh, probably 10 to 15 minutes. I'm really, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't actually cooked a calzone in a pizza oven. I usually do them on my Komodo Komodo, and I know that they're closer to 15, but because we've got some of that top heat, it's gonna cook a lot quicker. So stay tuned and I'll let you know how long it takes. So it's been about three and a half minutes. It's looking good. We're gonna leave it alone. What I am gonna do is I put a little bit of this sauce in here. I just wanna warm it up and it's gonna be hot there. So let's see if this closes. Perfect. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warm that sauce up. Obviously the top of it is super hot. So it's not gonna take too long, uh, but I like a, a nice warm sauce that'll help thicken it up just a little bit. But we're only gonna cook for another six, nine minutes or so. Uh, but I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Been seven minutes. I want to pull out the calzone and just rotate it around. Oh, wow. How's that for a thing of beauty? Man. That is looking delicious. We'll give our sauce a quick stir here. And I don't think we're gonna take 15 minutes actually, so I'll bring you back when we're ready to pull it off. We're about 11 and a half minutes. I think we're actually done. Oh yeah, look at that. Cheese is just starting to leak out a little bit. We're gonna let this cool down now. Quick tip, put it on a rack. I'm actually gonna pull it off this. That way you can get air all the way around it. You want that crispy crust to hold up while we let it rest. Time to taste it. We let this rest for about 10 minutes and uh, it's looking good. So I had a chance to inspect this off camera. And I mean, I gotta say, like, look at even the bottom. Bottom didn't get burnt at all. We got some flame kissed tops here. They're looking good. The sauce simmered away. Uh, about eight minutes was enough. I did have, I only had a little bit of sauce in there uh, and it was simmering away. So it got time to, to thick it up. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I've gotta say, this is one of my pet peeves about the pellet grill is that you couldn't really do pizza and uh, let me get my phone out of the way there. But now you can. I mean, I'm gonna be doing the pizza next. 
I'm hungry. I'm gonna have a pizza, I'm gonna have a calzone. We're gonna try this out. But I did wanna get a video on a calzone. Knocked out, right out of the gate. And see that ooey gooey goodness there? We don't even have time for a money shot. We just gotta get in and eat this thing. Got some nice crunch all the way around it. Wow, tastes like a calzone, imagine that. Hang on a second here. I wanted to make sure I got to some of this crunch. Or sorry, crust that has the crunch. That's delicious. Like I said originally, I think this is a game changer. 12 minutes to cook a calzone. Tastes delicious. You can experiment with temperatures. Again, I, I did it at 450. That's what I'm used to doing on my Kimono Kimono. So, worked out perfect. Good crunch, good flavor. And it's, you know, bottom's not overcooked, top's not overcooked. It's a perfect calzone. We've got some great color to it, got some good flavor to it. Delicious. I'm gonna say it right now. This thing's a winner. I was super excited when I saw the pictures on Instagram. So excited. The link wasn't working. There was no videos. I was like, all right, this is gonna be a game changer. And luckily, two weeks down, I have one to play with. I'm gonna be playing with it a lot. The one thing I'm gonna tell you right now is we'll be doing a little bit of a pizza battle, calzone battle between the Komodo Komodo the Yoder, which I never thought we'd do, and the Alpha Pizza Oven. Gonna be interesting. If you wanna see that, subscribe down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you were on the fence about this, jump over, because this guy's a winner. I'll see you soon.